Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at using exclusions while searching. Sometimes while searching, you may want to exclude certain items from the results. For instance, you may want to search your drive for all images, but you may want to exclude a certain type of image. Let's take a look. So let's say I want to find something, and then I choose a basic starting point like the kind is image. And I'll get all these results from my drive. Now say I wanted to exclude PNG files and only show all of the rest of the types of images. So I could simply go and say I just want to see JPEGs and I want to see GIF files and I want to see TIFF files or I could just exclude PNGs. So let's do that. Now in order to do that you can see that on the right here I can add or subtract criteria from my search. But if I hold down the option key I can see the plus symbol changes to three dots. I click on that and I get a different type of criteria here where I can select any, all, or none of the following are true. So to exclude something I would select none. Then in this case I can do something simple like name ends with dot png. And you can see the pngs have been removed from the results. I could also have chosen kind is other and started typing portable network graphics. Now while here it is worth noting that there are uses for the any and all functions as well and you can pile up say a bunch of different criteria here and simply have it choose that any of the these three are true. So for instance I could start with the basic thing here kind is any option and click here and set to any of the following are true have three different pieces of criteria here I could set them all to be name ends with and use three different file types JPEG, GIF, or TIFF and I'll get results that show just those three. Now you can go deeper than this. Say you want to get rid of all the files that start with IMG underscore. You can leave this set here and you can add another one using option and add and say none names begins with IMG underscore and it will eliminate all from the list. So this is saying that it wants none of the files that begin with IMG underscore and the files must have any of these three true to be in the list. Here's another way to set that up where I've set any of the following to be true and you can see the last two items here are GIF and TIFF as before. But the first item has been changed to and all of the following are true. The name must end with JPEG and none of this is true which is name begins with IMG underscore. So this will eliminate all the files with IMG underscore but only the ones that have JPEG as their extension. It will leave any GIFs or TIFFs that use IMG underscore in the search results. Now let's look at iTunes. So in iTunes you can also do exclusions but it works differently here. So I went to file and new smart playlist and here I have it set to match the following rule. An artist contains the Beatles and if I want to add an exclusion to it you can see I have the plus and the ellipsis dot side by side. So I can just click on it without using the option key. And then I can do all or any. So I don't have a not here. So how do I do not? Well you can do not by simply using the criteria here in the middle. So before with a finder search you would do something like contains or matches or begins with or ends with. Here we have is not or does not contain. So if we have is not Beatles then the results will show me all the songs that are not Beatles songs. Likewise here in iPhoto we don't even have the third button but we can go and do something like description and does not contain or is not so we can do exclusions here in iPhoto but we have even less functionality we can't even do the any or all. So what we have are three different ways to do searches between the Finder, iTunes, and iPhoto. Apple usually doesn't let things like this last. I bet with updates to iLife and Mac OS X we'll probably eventually have the same search interface between all three. 
Hope you found this look at searching with exclusions useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.